biomedical science is an exciting degree and it forms the heart of medical breakthroughs in healthcare. And as a biomedical science graduate, I found my university life both exciting and challenging at the same time. So I'm here to tell you five things you need to know if you're thinking of studying this degree. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and yet another video. If you're new here, my name is Aryan. I'm a second year dentist student and a biomedical science graduate based in the UK. And in this video, I wanted to talk about five things that are really, really important for you to know before starting biomedical science. And as usual, there will be timestamps on the screen in the description below and also in the comment section. So feel free to jump around the video as you wish. And yet without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is that it's going to be difficult. And I'm not saying this to put you off or scare you in any way. I'm honestly just talking from experience. Studying biomedical science really does take a lot of passion um, and determination. So you have to really be ready to put in the work that it needs in order to survive it and get good grades as well. So don't do biomedical science because someone's told you to do or uh, you know your friends are doing it. You really have to have passion for it and you have to be ready to put in a lot of work to get the grades and to survive it. Now, if you're interested in any science subjects or mainly biology and chemistry, then you would probably find biomedical science quite interesting. And if that's the case, then definitely, you know, really go for it and you, I'm sure you will enjoy it as well. But do bear in mind, it will be quite difficult. The content itself isn't particularly tough. It's actually really, really interesting to learn about the human body at an advanced level. Um, but what makes it particularly challenging is the amount of content you have and you need to remember for the purpose of the exams. On top of this, there's going to be a lot of coursework you need to do. So you'll have something pretty much every single week, whether it's catching up with work, doing an assignment, preparing for a test, doing, um, I don't know, a group project or a presentation. But again, I'm saying all of this not to scare you off, but to make you aware um, so you know what to expect when you start biomedical science. The second thing you need to know is that IBMS accreditation matters. IBMS, if you're not sure what it is, stands for the Institute of Biomedical Science. Uh, and that's obviously an institute in the UK. And it's the governing body for biomedical scientists. So if you're thinking of becoming a biomedical scientist, then it's absolutely, absolutely crucial to do the course that is IBMS accredited. I think most of the courses in you know around the UK are actually accredited, but it's something to check with the university you're going to apply to. So what this essentially means is that the curriculum of the course will be based on certain standards set by the IBMS. So it ensures that you meet those standards by the time you complete your degree and you're ready to graduate. So then you can apply for state registration and become a biomedical scientist. But there is one more thing you need to apply for state registration and become a biomedical scientist. And that's actually the third point we're gonna talk about. So the third point is you have to complete a portfolio to become IBMS registered. This is really, really, really important. And I used to work in a lab, but there was quite a few people who had completed their biomedical science training and their degree was actually accredited as well, but they just couldn't find the training or a training scheme to allow them to complete their portfolio. The number of training schemes available are actually really, really limited. And a lot of people make the mistake of uh, completing their degree first and then looking for training schemes, which are actually super competitive to get into. I mean, it's not really a mistake if you're not sure whether you want to go down that route and become a biomedical scientist or not. And you only come to this decision after your graduation. But making a decision early, i.e. like before your graduation, at the end of your second year can make life a bit easier for you. Um, and the reason for this is because you have to apply for the training scheme um, and complete your portfolio, or you don't have to, but you can do, before you actually graduate. You can actually apply to the training scheme and do your portfolio uh, before you actually graduate. So when you're in your second year, when you're, when you're essentially, when you've just finished your second year and you're going to start third year, you can take a gap year, do your placement then, and then complete your training. Uh, but again, it's quite competitive. Um, and the sooner you make that decision, the sooner you'll be able to start working on your application um, and preparing everything, therefore, the higher your chances of getting into the training scheme. Um, so yeah, that's the third point. Let's talk about the fourth point, which is if you're planning to become a biomedical scientist, then you need to do the sandwich course. 
Um, and what I mean by this is that there are generally two types of courses, one with placement year and one without. Placement year is when you usually take a year out, usually just after your second year, and get some work experience with a company that may potentially actually employ you uh, and offer you a job after your graduation. So your chances of you know, getting a job will be much higher if you've done the placement year. Um, and this is because you would have more you know, practical knowledge, uh, you would have developed a range of skills through that training, and you would have developed as a person as well and you'd be ready to you know to to enter the profession and also if you've done the training scheme then it means you can apply to the IBMS state registration straight away you know after completing your portfolio after achieving the accredited degree and then become state registered and become a biomedical scientist. Now let's talk about the fifth point and that is you can actually make a real difference in the world with the degree biomedical science. Biomedical science is such a versatile degree that can be the foundation to any research, any sort of research you wanna get into, whether it's finding cure for diseases um, such as cancer, doing investigations on something to do with the environment, uh, discovering new medications or vaccinations potentially, so the COVID-19 vaccination for example. Um, biomedical science really sits on the sort of forefront of all of these things and it will enable you to do you know, any research, any research that it is you potentially want to get into. And that's the five things that you need to know about biomedical science. So that's everything I wanted to talk about in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, let me know in the comment section below and also like this video if you did enjoy it. Um, if not, and you have any suggestions as to how I can improve these videos, then I would love to hear that out in the comment section below as well. And yeah, with all of that said, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider doing so. I would really appreciate it and it would help the growth of this channel. And yeah, take care and I will see you in the next video. Peace.